as I said, they we were just out there gravel. seeing if we could find anything. We had questions about yeah, the ages of the gravel, and, and so we thought we'd do surveys of the, the pits just to see if, literally, if we got lucky. We found a humerus arm bone of an ancient wolverine called Plesiogulo, and we found it in upland areas in uh, southern Alberta. And strangely, those upland areas have gravel from river bottoms. And so it's a very strange situation in that what once was river bottom is now hilltop. The rivers were in that location, deposited the Plesiogulo or wolverine humerus, and then migrated away and eroded downwards several hundred feet since its deposition. Over several years, we would just go down and really knock around yeah. the gravel pit to see if we could find anything after they finished their excavations. And these reclamation projects have a very low percentage rate, particularly, as I say, in gravel deposits because it's such a poor preservational environment. But with this thing, I literally walked up to it and said, oh my gosh, a small carnivore bone then lifted it up and called my colleague over who is the then the curator at the Royal Alberta Museum and it's one of those yahoo moments for sure and it's uh, such an incredibly rare specimen I, I don't know if I'll ever discover anything as rare as that again but I guess I won't know till I try. We were so fortunate to be walking by in that particular day in an area where they're doing active gravel excavation. The fossil itself is from a very rare specimen of type of wolverine that migrated into the Americas about six million years ago, became very widely distributed and is well dated from other sites, but it went extinct very quickly too. It gives us a very nice pinpoint in time for the deposition of the gravel and then gives us the background for the history of the rivers and the formation of the landscape as we see it today. They're all pieces of a puzzle for sure. And right now we're becoming more and more aware of the world we live in and we want to become responsible citizens of the world. And people are becoming more engaged in their environment. And really this allows people to become familiar with their planet and feel more connected, I think.